Hey guys, Paul here, testing out the difference uh, today between my two 11 and a half inch uppers. Uh, they're both BCM 11 and a half inch uppers um, with URX2 rails on them, Knights Arm at URX2 rails. Uh, they look identical except for they're both, you know, painted different, obviously. One's black, one's brown. Uh, also, this one has a Surefire suppressor, and this one is a Knights Arm at suppressor, so. This one also has a smaller custom gas port, so it has less recoil um, and less gas blowback to the face and stuff. So, anyways, just testing out the difference between them today. Uh, never haven't done this yet, been wanting to. So now I finally get a chance to do that. So we're gonna see which one shoots softer here, and also see if there might be any difference uh, between sound and uh, suppressors. Shooting at a hundred yard steel plate here with a uh, circle cut out in the high center chest area. So it might sound like I miss sometimes, but I'm actually hitting. And when I actually hit the steel, I'm somewhat missing, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. For the uh, night time room at one and a uh, normal size gas port. Recoil is definitely way, way softer on this one. Never really noticed it before because I never shot them back to back like this. Yeah, it's recoil is a lot harsher on the, the normal size gas port here. Because a lot of people think that uh, sound suppressors reduce recoil, but they don't. They increase recoil actually because you're increasing the gas pressure. The more gas it blows back. That's why you get all that gas in the face when you shoot suppress. And uh, that also equates to more recoil as well. On bolt guns, uh, I do believe it does re reduce recoil. Um, if I'm not mistaken, at least my shoulder thinks it does. Actually, I know damn well it does because I shot a freaking 338 Lapua and uh, my shoulder didn't hurt at all afterwards. So, it was shooting suppressed. So, anyways, yeah, so... On uh, AR-15s though, it definitely increases the felt recoil when you have a suppressor. That's why you have a smaller gas port like this, or the uh, Noveski switch block and uh, uh, adjustable, or the this adjustable gas block that's also on the uh, uh, the ACR Bushmaster ACR and the Rue OBR and other rifles like that. That's why it has a suppressor setting because it allows less gas. Because it's going to be already, well, it's a smaller port, makes it a smaller port, so that way less, uh, well, it's smaller, so when there is more gas in the blowback, it's not going to be as harsh. Something like that. Probably fucked that up, but oh well. Ten inch plate here. Ha. Here. Oh yeah, it's a whole different gun. 
That's crazy. I never realized just how much of a difference that was until today. I mean, there's more blowback in my face. Uh, the recoil is just it's a lot sharper. It's just a, you know, just that real, uh, oh, with a dumpy feeling in your shoulder. That sounds fucking stupid. Dumpy. My gun's dumpy. I got a dumpy gun. Hey, look at this. Dump, dump, dump. Dumpity, dumpity. Anyways, you get the point, though. More recoil on this one than there is on the small gas port. Uh, custom gas port one there. Other than that, they're identical, though. I'm not sure which one's quieter. I guess I'll have to review the tape to see that. If you can even tell. <clears throat> Feel free to let me know what y'all think in the comments about uh, which one y'all think is quieter. And if y'all can tell the difference uh, in the recoil just by watching me shoot them. So, I can definitely tell. That's for damn sure. Anyways. Take care, guys.